Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Distant Worlds Universe, episode 15, and last time we left off, uh, we had, let's see, I'm actually trying to remember because it, it's been a minute since I've recorded. I think uh, we were just basically working on retrofitting our ships with hyperdrives, and we wanted to nab up that system there. Uh, I've been reading a lot of the comments and really trying to pick up some more information on the game, and uh, some one big thing I need to do is I need to focus my... Uh, efforts in certain weapon groups in the weapons category and so I've kind of looked through all of these here and I've decided I'm gonna work on railguns uh, probably going right down here just right down the uh, rapid fire projectiles projectile arrays massive projectile arrays and uh, I'm gonna work on missiles and I'm gonna work on lasers but I'm gonna go straight up here to the shatter force lasers and work on those so I'll get these here probably get the in high intensity lasers as well as maybe once I get to the high intensity lasers dipping down and going for the advanced beams just kind of working my way that way so kind of staying to the top of this tree and then obviously as for the electronic warfare those are just gonna come you know those will be filler here and there I uh, gotta get tractor beams and such uh, but yeah I, actually I'm sorry not missiles I think I think I'm I think I was thinking torpedoes yeah, not, not missiles, not missiles. Torpedoes. I want to work down torpedoes. I want to go for the velocity shards, uh, improvements of velocity shards, and then maybe eventually plasma thunderbolts. That'll be a little bit later. Or actually, I'll probably go for the improvements of velocity shards. So we're going to dip up into here. And uh, yeah, so torpedoes, uh, shatter force lasers, and I'll throw some railguns in there. And then the rest of the stuff here can kind of, you know, point defense and everything. Those are things that are necessary. Those are things I'm kind of just going to squeeze in there. We're getting the accelerated construction. Is that what we're getting? No. Why do I have that queued up? Because I can't even afford that. We're getting the um, component prefabrication right now so we can get larger sh uh, ship sizes. I need to get ship sizes. Wow, I'll say that five times fast. I need to get uh, the damage control as well, but... Um, I think maybe enhanced engines or... Advanced, uh, enhanced energy collectors, fast mining. It's hard to say what to go for next. Let's go for the damage control right after the uh, larger ship uh, ship sizes, and then high, uh, the high tech technology. All right, so we're going for the enhanced storage and the colonization because we want to get continental continental colonization, and that's probably where we'll keep it. And then I want to get this coordinate control so I can save myself on maintenance savings. Okay. So that's that there, and then there was a bunch of other things as well that were uh, brought up. Uh, I mean, one thing I noticed myself is that I've got the game on 4x speed, and we're pretty uh, far into the game, so the reason why a lot of these empires have grown significantly compared to me is because, well, as I'm running kind of real-time over here t to myself, uh, all the other empires are able to get so much more accomplished with that 4x speed, and I really screwed myself on that. I wasn't paying attention. I should have turned that off a long time ago. Um, or at least turn it down maybe to 2x, but never to 4x, not now. Okay, we can see everybody coming into here. Yeah, a couple other things too. Um, if you see, uh, I think it's Exerbius, Exerbius86, if you see him down in the chat, he's been uh, communicating with me and through comments and leaving me some really helpful tips as well as a couple other people. Um, but Exerbius has been commenting on almost every video, like three comments a video, <laughs> giving me a lot of tips on what to do. And he's linked me some really useful articles on the forums. So that's been extremely helpful. I read up on energy and learned a little bit about that. Um, and one thing that made me, or reminded me I wanted to do was I wanted to go into my construction ship because he mentioned that I had too many engines. And so I wanted to... Go through and edit, or not edit, manually upgrade. And I want to pull off some of the engines because there's just no point having, uh, having, how many do I have right now? I've got 16, 16 engines. Honestly, 10 crews of 20 is going to be fine. Now that we've got hyper, it's just there's no point in having that many engines. It'll save me a lot of maintenance costs. All right, standard fuel cells are fine. I think everything else is okay. The way it is. And I'll just leave everything else the way it is, and we'll just change this to a... Whatever it was. I think it was a... Yeah, that looks good. So we'll do that. And I actually need to upgrade those then. So let me find my construction ships. Where are they? Inspiration construction ships and you've got no mission so I want you to go 
retrofit and you're building a mining station so once you're done with that i'll grab you up and i'll retrofit you myself and that will be good i like this uh i like this hung, hung, uh, hunger seeker algorithm here that's really nice to be able to see everything coming in and out. i'll see a fleet if it's coming uh it may not be enough to save me but at least i'll be prepared and i won't be blindsided so long as i'm paying attention okay my first fleet or my homeworld defense fleet they're fine there i've got my uh, we want to go conquer that planet, so I shouldn't have to... Oh, I should need just some transports with some troops on them. The pirates are there. i got to be very careful. I'm very weary of them. Um, hmm. I don't know if I have... I don't have an assault fleet yet. I do need to build one. Uh, meaning... Or talking about that, actually. I need to... One thing that was on my mind. I need to lower these taxes real quick and just take the hit for a little bit. Let my my population grow a little bit more. See if I can get it to grow a little bit more. I'm going to take a massive cash hit there, 14,000. But um, I just want to see if I can grow my population a little bit more. 6.3%, I'll take that. It's better than nothing. Um, I should stay afloat here for a little bit. Especially with the gifts I keep getting from other... From my friendly players. Look at that fleet. It's a good-sized fleet over there moving around. The great hunt of the deadly cyber saber cat is underway on our home world for the next year. All troops recruited at our colony will be 10% stronger. That is fantastic. And I do want to recruit some troops, actually. That reminds me. Um, mainly because... Um, actually, I can just do it right from here. Uh, mainly because I need to start building up a ground force. Oh, that's right. I had a bunch of troops recruited. I think I did it last time we had a hunt going on. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if that's going to be enough to take that planet. Let me recruit two more while we've got this going on. And that'll get me four per transport ship plus a general. That may be enough. I don't know if two transport ships will cut it. I might send a... Actually, where's my expiration ship? Let me go into that system and see what I'm encountering. Can I reach it? I can't unless I stop and refuel here. So move to uh, that system there. We'll stop, refuel, and assess the situation. Do I have any other fuel sources off in this area? Not really. Because that would be useful. What about up here? No. There's a fuel source up in here. That's my allies' fuel source, and I can use that. It's not an issue. Territory map swap with you. Uh, sure. At this point, it doesn't really matter. They probably know enough about me anyways that I'm just... It's not going to matter that much. Uh, yeah, sure. 229 credits. Better than no credits. How's that population growth going? Are we are we actually getting up there? 5.8. Okay, let me keep that in mind. 5,800 million. 5.8 billion. So... Alright, we've got a little... We've got a very small empire, but... It's, uh, our allies are nothing to mess with, so I guess that's all that matters. Colonization. That reminds me, what are my agents doing, and when was the last time I actually queued them up to do anything? Okay, they're, that's stealing research information on enhanced storage. Okay, and 90%, and when's he going to come back? Can I see that? There we go. Completed 21, 24. Okay, he's still got some time. All right. That is fine. I approve. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's go into our expansion planner. Just want to take a look real quick at resources we need. So we need a source of Aculon. Um, let's just go like this. Aculon, Ocelia, Emeros uh, Crystal, Silicone, Tiderios, and yeah, okay, not Dilithrium. Crystal, at least not yet. All right, or I can just go like that. Or I'm sorry, like that. Yeah, so let's see, Aculon. Let's see where we can find the closest source of that. Okay, that's not really what I had in mind. Uh, here we go. 85 and Emerald Crystal, so I can knock those both out in one go. What's that? 65? Okay, let's go to that there. Kappa. How far is that from me? Oh, not far at all. Wow, it's right in my system. Okay, let's get a uh, 
My uh, construction ship queued up. That's what I'm trying to say. And where is... Okay, he's still going there to construct. No, he's not constructing. He moved out of that system. Why? What is in this system? Cannot see. Okay, let me grab an exploration ship. And I want you to move to this system. And we'll actually take a look and see what's going on in there. And then if I have to send my fleet, I will. I don't really want to take any chances, but... I don't like having them away from my home world. That's the only defense I have. Six. No, there shouldn't be six. There should be more. I thought I built a few more. Let's take a look and see. Go to military ships. Yeah, I did. See, I knew I did. I knew I built a few more. Okay, we'll put them right there in our homeworld defense fleet. Okay, I feel a little bit better. That's a 10... Uh, a 10-strong fleet. And I'll actually... Or not them. I want this. And I'll actually make sure that they're sitting near our planet. Or I don't want them to orbit because that'll waste fuel, but... Alright, what I should actually do is make sure that they're... I should actually make sure they're fueled up. Oh, well, they are fueled up. Well, whatever. That'll get them to the planet. Alright, that exploration ship is leaving... He's trying to go back to the system, actually, so I'll be able to see what's going on before that exploration ship gets there, so I changed my mind. Just go back there and wait. Now I'm going to see what's going on here. What was I trying to build here? What was here that I wanted? That's right, silicone. So that's where I'm trying to get my source of silicone right now. Okay, that construction ship is finished retrofitting. I want to get this one retrofitted when I can. All right, we're about to find out. Ha! Ah, okay, that's not a big deal. I can I can take care of that. All right, he'll just fly back out again. Ooh, who's here? Okay, that's really beat up. I think that was mine, wasn't it? Yes, that was actually mine. So I'll come in here and knock two birds out with one stone. I'll actually take that and get rid of it. And I'll get rid of that slug as well. So let's move these guys into the system. And deal with all of that. And then, well, as that's going on, okay. Cash is fine. 5.8. How are we sitting now? 5.9. Alright, so we're growing. Gotta get that population up higher so I can actually have a cash boost. I'm making I'm not draining off cash. I and mean, I'm losing a lot of cash flow, but I, I have plenty enough that'll be okay. And then sometime I gotta get to that. It's just not going to be now or for a little bit anyways and I'm fine with that a lot of the things with this game is you just got to take things slow once I get those couple of resources I'll be pretty good the homeworld defense fleet's taking a minute I'll kick up four speed so I can get in that system and get that done with that construction ship okay I was gonna say I hope he's not getting attacked Exploration ship's going to grab up that fuel there. We'll fuel him up and then we're going to send him off. I want to get a peek into this system and see what I'm up against. New character trait. Sober. Fantastic. Is he... But he's not back yet. Nope, but he's about to be in three months. But sober. What's that do? Alright, plus 10% espionage and plus 10% counter espionage and plus 10% sabotage. Okay, this guy's really good. That's a really good agent. I cannot lose him. I, I don't want to risk him on <clears throat> any risky missions where I can lose him. Um, I may go into that system. Where is my exploration ship? Let's go take a look at that system. See if there's if it's worth building something in there. I'm sure it is. Hmm. You want to offer protection, huh? No. The only time I'll usually buy protection is if they fly into my system and try to start some trouble. Then I'll buy it real quick and I'll drop it as soon as they leave. Okay, they sent me a gift and I will take it because that'll keep me afloat even longer. And territory maps offered. Um, since they're uh, part of my race, I will definitely do that because they'll be helpful. But I don't want to do any mutual pack agreement or anything because they're a very small race up here. And that leaves something to be desired. If they get attacked, it'll drag me into a mess of shit that I don't want to be a part of. 
Okay. Lots of people coming in and out and fueling on my system, which is good. Um, any cash flow? All right, here we go. We're about to deal with this right now. We're, these two ships are a little slow. Oh, where did I uh, where did I discover that? Seca. Not sure where that actually was discovered. Yes, let's investigate. And nothing. That's sad. I was really excited there for a second. Thought I might get something. All right, let's take our fleet here. And let's go for this. Especially since I still have ships trying to come over here from when this was originally mine. So once we deal with that, we can queue up a, sh a um, station to be built here as well. Triggered inside ruins. Okay. There we go. We dealt with that. Let's grab these up and head on over. Oh, they're already going to go. Okay. We'll let them do that. And actually, that'll hopefully this construction ship won't head out before that happens. And we managed to steal enhanced storage. I don't know if we actually stole it or if we just uh, got a boost on it. Maybe in high tech. Oh, we actually stole the whole tech. That's great. So we'll get colonization. Just go straight for continental colonization. Um... And that gives us more fuel and more uh, cargo storage on all of our ships. Once I actually, I think it's actually only after I go do the upgrade. There we go. That construction ship now, we'll go through and build that. We'll send our homeworld defense fleet all the way back. To our home planet. And just zoom in here. Oh yeah, I've got all this going on. Let's see. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, yes. And a gift of thousand. And you also want to tear. Okay. We're being awfully friendly with all these people, but um, when you don't have a big army to be really pushing people around, it's not always good to to go around uh, pissing everybody off. So I really don't want to start any problems. Eh, research. Let's see. So point defense. All right. So we're rushing that now. After the point defense, I don't know if I had anything. Oh, yes. I had interceptors. Okay. I'm going to take that off. Let's see. And we're going to go for uh, long range phasers. Get these shatter force lasers. That's what I want to get. We'll go for those. And then I want to go for EMP defenses and get those put on the ships because that'll be pretty important. After EMP defenses. Uh, we'll probably go for velocity shards, or maybe actually we'll go velocity shards, then EMP defenses. Then I'll have I'll be due for a big retrofit probably uh, two episodes from now or so. I'll probably have to do a pretty large retrofit. We'll have to go through and fix everything, but that'll give me some time to maybe read up on it when, before I go do it. Really, 17 credits. New, no, thank you. That is interesting. Okay, so he's building that gas station. What was my other ship doing? Ah, yes. Uh, there, there was a planet there that had some useful resources on it. Let me use this opportunity then to queue up this planet here for another one as well. And we actually are making more money. Even though we've got the cash flow and the negatives, we're still actually staying afloat with money, which is perfectly fine. We'll just keep letting our growth go then. 6.2. That's really good. Actually, that hasn't gone off much, has it? We're going to watch that and see. We might have... Let's see. Our, our planet's only 29,000. We may have actually maxed, maxed out our population on our planet. And if that's the case, then um, we'll raise our taxes a little bit and we'll pretty much just call that that. So we'll wait and see if that's actually the case or not. Yeah, and xenophobic. I wanted to look at that real quick. So our leader here... No, isolationist. Who got xenophobic? It, Oh, our ambassador. Really? What does that... Minus 10% trade income, minus 10% diplomacy. Ah, oh, that's so crappy. Where is he right now? Oh, we've got another ambassador. I did not notice that. Okay, well, we'll just leave him there, I guess. we got another ambassador. We'll send him to... Um, uh, who else is buddy-buddy with me? Who likes me? The Diute. Who's close to me and likes me? 
The diode's right there. They're fairly close, but I think there's people that are closer. Okay, they're pretty close. They like me. They're close, and they like me, which is good because they're fairly large. They're actually extremely large. They're pleased with me. So let's send an ambassador to them. Oh, I didn't even grab the name. The Taroshan Alliance? Yeah, we'll send an ambassador over there. And uh, work on relations with them since they're very powerful. Maybe we can get a mutual pack going and then that'll kind of protect us. I think that's them. Was that their flag? I wish it had the name. Now I gotta go back and look again. Yes, okay. I knew I saw yellow, but I wasn't sure. Alright, and then we'll see how he fares with that. Wait till our homeworld defense fleet gets in here. And yeah, so I'm going to cut this episode off here as we are out of time. But I think what we'll do is uh, we're going to keep building up these mining stations that we have. Uh, we'll keep researching the tech that I mentioned earlier and then we'll be due probably two episodes from now or so we'll be due for a massive uh refit of all of our ships and uh we'll do that we'll do the refit especially since we'll get this we'll actually do the refit after we get this so once we get this it'll be refit time uh, as well as the new weapons hopefully and then uh this colonization will hopefully get done soon and we'll move into continental colonization and get a second planet established maybe on a continental planet somewhere nearby I think this is definitely in my radar, but I don't think it's going to be a good minute until I get up there. Uh, real quickly though, one more thing I want to do is send my intelligence agent off that came back, or I will forget if I don't do that. And we'll steal from uh, the Tracetan Sovereignty, which I steal from them since they're, just, they're deemed stupid by the game, so they're incredibly stupid. Where are you? There you are. Right there, okay. So the Tres, uh, Treselton, Treseton, Treseton Sovereignty. We're gonna try to steal research and go for, okay, they've got a lot. I would like to get colonization. Can I boost that? I can. Definitely going for that then. And that should help finish that. All right, so this episode's over. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.